Hi Alex, hi Veronica, it's Adam. Louisa thought she was having a bad hair day, so she asked me to do this for her. <laughs> okay, so she's my camera woman. That's not true. So, okay, she had to wear a protective wrap. Anyway, so this is the Alta we were talking about. 2.5 liter VQ engine, okay? This is something that Nissan's been working with for like 24 years, okay? This thing's in our trucks, right? And it's in our Nissan Frontier. So, I mean, this is something that Nissan's been building for a long time. This isn't something that they just introduced or some brand new thing. No, this is an engine they've been refining and developing for years. Okay, so all your service points are easy to get access to. Okay, probably not the most important thing to you considering it's a brand new vehicle. You're probably gonna pop the hood once a year, okay? So, other than that, you get the stylish look, the new high intensity discharge bulbs. Those are actually the same headlight technology. It's in the new Ram Sports, and those Ram Sports have such bright lights that they have to have, have uh, automatic dimming bulbs in the States because in some US states, if your light sends out a certain amount of energy, it has to have automatic dimming so you're not blinding other drivers. So these get excellent visibility, okay? So, and you'll notice that now the car actually looks kind of like the Maxima, right? It's got like the same curves because they changed the new Maxima to look like that, okay? Which is pretty cool. But don't go liking that, okay? Come on <laughs> like this, okay? So you get the fog lights, you got your block heater, okay? They don't charge extra for that stuff, okay? You got the nice wheels too. Check out the wheels, okay? Okay, now those brakes, those are a lot bigger than any brake you're going to get in the Kia. Okay, I'm not trying to talk smack or anything, I'm just trying to say this is the engineering behind Nissan. Turn marker signals on the side of the vehicle, okay, you got the sunroof up here, okay, Louise is going to climb up on the vehicles, let's see, because she's, she's kind of short, this. okay, she's kind of short. <laughs> okay, now come check out the back, okay, you got the nice armrest, okay. Pretty basic stuff, right? Nice leather seats, perforated leather. Okay, it's high quality leather. And not to mention, it's not just leather on the face, it's leather on the sides as well, okay? So you're not gonna get uneven wear. They're gonna look the same in years and years and years. It's not that fake leather, okay? You got the intelligent key system right here. That's so you can push the button, lock the doors. It's beeping because it doesn't want to let me lock the keys inside the vehicle, okay? Here, she's gonna pass me the camera. Well, I'm flying in your screen, okay? So you got your little fancy screen, your little Nissan animation, okay? You got your heated seats. I know, I know, I know, Kia's got cooled seats. Guess what, it's cold here for eight months of the year and it's hot here for 30 days out of the year. That there is your safety bubble, okay? So that's gonna give you all your blind spot warnings. That's your heated steering wheel because yes, it is cold and I love heated steering wheels. The first time I ever had a heated steering wheel was when I had to go pick up a car at a dealership when I was a sales guy. And it sucked because I, I had to scrape the windshield off of the credit card. And then when I grabbed the steering wheel and it was hot, it made, my, it made me fall in love, okay? You got your USB down there so you can listen to your music, get the bump in tunes, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm traveling, okay, in my car all the way by, back to New Brunswick with my wife, I'm gonna have my heat set somewhere around the 18 and a half range. And then my, my wife Ashley is probably gonna have her set, you know, somewhere between eh, 25 and weld, okay? So that's that, the, the dual climate control is super awesome, okay? You got your navigation right on here, okay? And then you got some cool Nissan apps. You can, you know, add all of a sudden traffic and some stuff there. Satellite radio, obviously all the normal stuff like the buttons on the steering wheel and whatnot, cool. And I mean, come on, that is a super nice push button. And let's just be quiet for two seconds. Oh wait, that's the windshield wiper, sorry. Is that not the nicest sounding signal clicker that you've ever heard? That's quality, okay? Home link, okay, whoa, almost popping me back in the video. Sunroof controls, okay. Cool little lights that are focused, okay, that's so that when someone else puts their map light on, it's not gonna blind you while you're driving, okay. I'm gonna give the camera back to Louisa, okay. I'm gonna turn the, turn the, you know, looking at my fanny, okay. I'm just gonna close this so we don't get gassed out of the dealership, okay. <laughs> Trunk. Okay, if you guys ever need to make some extra cash, you guys can take a career up as mobsters. I can fit in here. You can, so well, see, there you go. We could fit Louisa in there. Okay, you got the little thing here, though, so your, your people that you trap in there can actually get out. Okay, so the few things that, I mean, they even put sound deadening and everything like that all in the trunk, so you get a nice, quiet ride. Okay? Other than that, I mean, it's part of the Nissan Pure Drive program, which means they do a five cycle test for a fuel economy, not a three cycle test. So their numbers for fuel economy are gonna be a lot more realistic, okay? It's not gonna be ambitious. Like when you're going downhill at sea level in California, when the wind's at your back, okay, it's actually real fuel economy. 
Alright, all in all, this is the Nissan Altima SL. I really hope you guys will come down and give us a shot. Come test drive it and see who's that? That's Dustin. Okay? And there's Wave the rest everybody. Of the team. Okay, they all want to see the master and how it's done.